What's going on, guy? How are we doing? How are we doing? Let's start it off. What's up, guys? John Simtez, Alex Rojas. Let's win a ball game podcast. Back. We're in. Uh, hiatus is over. He obviously grew facial hair. It, it, it's been a it's been a time frame. It's been a thing. That or you had or you had a beard last time I saw, and then now we have the goatee. Mm -hmm. right? Look, this is what we got going on. There. We got we got our guy Nate here. He is doing some feels. Working on, right, just trying to find his timing, right, CBD can put together a little bit longer, right? So you just, don't pick it up inside your elbow. Pick it up slightly outside your elbow, all right? Anyway, what's up, my dude? So, just Nothing, out. just, uh, I mean, one of the reasons I was gone, we had puppies. So I'm surrounded yeah. by the final remaining puppies. One's going to leave hopefully tomorrow and then another one this weekend. And then we just got two more puppies to go. Um, it's a lot of work. It's just a lot of work. Uh, but I actually figured out a great way to um, – so what I was working on when I texted you was I'm working on like the best way to imagine how hitting works, I think, is to imagine like the conversations that we've had. And I found this super cool app and I'll send it to you, but it's uh, it's based on like flow charts, but it's color coordinated based on like these words. So like, for example, it's all for jujitsu. That's why, like, I thought this was cool. So we're talking hitting, not swinging, right? So it's like, oh, oh, count to a right-handed, let's say, slider guy. Let's just say that's his out pitch, right? He's a slider guy. You can do a whole flow chart, right, where that's the base of it, right? And then you can go, he starts off with a fastball for a strike to the right. He starts it off with a fastball for a ball. And you don't have to get – you could get hyper-specific with – outside inside all this other stuff but i'm i'm kind of enjoying this because some of the subtitles here are like what's the action right and then what's the reaction right because that's a thing you and i talk about that all the time that's so much of Always looking at that stuff that's where all the answers are right because that's where it's like oh you do that when i do this got it i'm gonna do this again there you go so it's just like jujitsu, right? I'm going to try this move. Oh, that's what you do? Okay, hold on. I'm going to do this again. You do that. I do this. Now you're going into the next position, right? So position could be like count. So I'll send you this. This is pretty cool. But um, I've just been making a lot of flow charts to try to explain why things happen. Because sometimes, like, you know, we've had these conversations of, like, what a 3D model would look like if you could explain to a guy, like, like show a guy in 3D like how you just got beat. It's like, yeah, I just did this, right? Like this would be a good job of like. You know what? You know what? Actually, let me see if I can pull up our TrackMan app. Like you know that video of you holstering your sword or sheathing your sword, yeah. whatever the proper term is. Like that in a three-dimensional game of chess, you visually need to see what's happening. Then there's the what was that guy thinking? Then there's the, what was he showing? Although he was thinking another thing, you know, there's like, there's layers to this game, player. Right. I, I agree. There are layers to it. Ooh, I'm also banged up Instagram land. You see this knee? It's all fucked up. You're hurting. Um, oh, yeah, I'm hurting right uh, now. It's funny that you say that because we, we've been talking about shape, you know, shapes for a long time. Yeah. And I feel like whenever this loads... I feel like, um, why is this being weird? Let's see. That might be. Sometimes, like, when we turn our the TrackMan app on, it just, like, connects to the wrong thing and then gets weird. So, let's see. Here. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm trying to pull it up. Okay, here we go. Here's a good one. Okay, so... To, to answer your question here, we have a lefty right here from our TrackMan app. And squared up right here from the directly in front of the pitcher, it doesn't really give us a ton of information. But what I would say is slide it over from the release point, and we start seeing a lot more. 
Okay. So in this, we can actually go in and pick different pitches that show all the shapes. Now, what I do like about this too, is I can do it the other way, right? So I can go like this. I can go, let's see, hold on, hold on, track man. Oh, there we go. Wrong, wrong dictation here. I can twist it yeah. and see all of the projectiles coming from home plate, which to me is important. So what I really like about this right now is I can zoom and put the camera right in the eyeball. Let's see. Come on. There we go. There we go. We get this. Okay. Now we can see from the hitter's eye kind of like what it is right there. So we can move it over just a little bit. That's kind of that's kind of what a hitter's eyeball would see right there. Right? So all of these shapes and all of these projectiles are pitches. And that's why I hate words, right? Because none of these projectiles actually line up to what it is. Oh my God, we have a celebrity that just walked in. I literally just said, where is Dean Navarez? And enter Dean Navarez on the podcast. There's the Mexico League stud. Oh. What's going on, baby? Hey, this is the guy right here, Alex. Right? How many home runs did he finish? Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. This is the guy that I am a you need to talk, talk to about how to hit me. That's the guy. Oh, dude, I, I fucking own this guy. <laughs> oh, I own him. oh he's out now. yeah, he's, yeah, he thinks he owns me, but he still hasn't hit one out on me. Oh, hey, but one thing I will say, you cannot be allergic to fucking iron, baby. I remember the Reebok <laughs> pump back in, back in the day. Reebok yeah. pump right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those, right? I remember that. Uh, Dude, sounds like he's ready to get into the dark of the deep end. I mean, am I wrong? Hey, am in I order wrong? to be successful in this game, am I wrong? Can you be allergic to the to, to iron? I, I don't think I'm wrong. These are the shapes you got to deal with. So. Now. You got to deal with all these shapes. Now. Yeah, that's, I, that's the geometry. That's, of that's the fucking wizard, and he's the reason why I was um, able to successfully hit. Um, other wizards in the Mexican. League. <laughs> other wizards. We call ourselves Jedi now. Wizards have been retired. What? How, what was your final total? My what? Your final oh. total of bombs. Bombs? I only played like thirty games, hundred at bats. I hit nine home runs. I had testicle That's surgery. Good. That's good. Pretty good. And he also hit eight in those like first month or six weeks or something like that. So three weeks. Three, oh, sorry. Three shorter. We hit eight in three weeks. No big deal. Yeah. Good we, there. Happen and you know we're getting ready for winter ball now. Alex is a catcher too. Oh, nice man. Yeah, he's a catcher drive on. Let's go. Uh, winter ball where? Mexico. Oh, you're going back. They, they, you and Jorge are gonna hang out again. You know what, man? I'm, I'm a firm believer that you know things happen in life the way they're supposed to, and you either um, grab the bull by the horns and lean in on pressure, or you just kind of fizzle out elsewhere. So. Um, Very true. Yeah. This guy full of, full, full of words. Um, I don't know where the bulls are, but I know where the hippos are. Yeah. You know, and the hippos are in the, the deep end. Warm. The water's yeah. warm. Hippos are sketchy. You ever seen a hippo surf? You got to watch out for that thing. They hippos surf. Are... Yeah, dude. They catch waves. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, I'm worried about these, these hippos in all sorts of landscapes now. Right. All right. All right. This... Let's, chart, get the, let's get to some to meat shapes. here, right? Let's it's get to some meat, of course. It's a pleasure, and um, I will say his lethal combo is cutter up and in to righties, change it by my ankles, and then throw me a 52-mile-per-hour banger that hits the front of the plate. That'll get a lot <laughs> of people. 52-mile-per-hour <laughs> banger, that'll get a lot of people. Tell me I'm wrong. He thinks, he thinks that I'm throwing e you know? Dude, but that's what it is, right? It's like shape, shape, right. shape. Right. Because it's like it's just the idea of like what you're seeing, but it's hard, like words suck because it's hard to really describe how the experience works because it's not just what you say. Because it's right. like, well, that didn't happen. It's like I know. I try. Like I, I, I know. It didn't have, like, there was a curveball that we had in the machine that I had put in, into the sequence, and it's, it like, literally the way that it was coming out, it looked like it was a right-handed curveball, 
So for you, I should do this, I think, whatever. I'm going to do it for me. So it's coming out this way. It looked like it caromed off the wall like a racquetball. Oh, like yeah. You could physically see like an invisible wall, right? Oh, ding, ding. Like, yes. Yeah, right? And I was just explaining to the guys, I was like, you see that invisible wall? And, of course, the dumb guys are just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And then the guys are just like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm like, if it goes past that wall, you got to turn on it as hard as you can because it's just going to stay on that side of the wall. Right. If it hits that wall, it's going to break to the outside part of the plate. That's when you're going to have to maybe step over the plate, stay really inside it, try to go down the line. And they were like, okay. And some guys got it, some guys didn't, but some guys just kind of looked at me like, that worked. I was like, yeah, I know. I know it worked. But it's, it's so hard to describe how that works because then there's guys where the wall's up here. Like, it's going to hit the wall here. Maybe it's like the wall. It's not an exact angle, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like sparring with a, with a guy that's not supposed to hit you back. It's like, yes, you did the thing, but also the thing is not live. True. Right? right. Very true. <laughs> that looks like a struggle with the knee. The knee looks brutal. It's it's just sore and swollen. It's it's gotten better, but to the point of probably the worst injury I've ever had. Like for real, probably yep. the worst injury. So okay. one step at a time, one day at a time. It's officially a week today. So see where things go. What's our one to ten number? Uh, when it got hurt, when I got hurt, it was the first time I've ever rolled on the ground in pain. Like, I was like, the best way to describe it was one of those knee tackles in the NFL where you see the knee go in. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah, and I just I hit the ground. So we'll see. Uh, I'm optimistic on about six weeks, and then I'll be back to normal movement. It's pr I didn't hear a pop. I don't have any clicking. Uh, That's good. The only Probably. time I have instability. What? I was going to say, it's probably just a strain. Yeah. It, the only time I, I think what happened was I got hyper jam. I think that's what happened. And also my foot was down like this. So like, mm. yeah, I got some knee pain, but really what I think happened was I got like super jammed like this. And so yeah. my quad got stretched out. Right. And then my hamstring, which would be, I guess, back here in this sense, right on this corner, like behind my kneecap. Holy shit, it feels like there's a golf ball behind my like left corner of my left hamstring. Yeah. Good googly moogly. Anyway. Googly Anyways, let's talk playoff baseball. What, okay. what are you thinking this postseason? We're almost there. First question is Aaron Judge, does he hit 61? Does he hit 62? Well, I think his strength of schedule and where he's playing a big difference and the chances to get there. Um, you know, I'm interested to see how many home games he has left in, in Yankee Stadium. Uh, what is it, like 23? How many games left in the big leagues? 23? 21. 21, something like that. They so, end like September 31st, right? Yeah, so that means uh, October 5th. We said. He's, he's on it. He's on it. Um, I, you know, I, I'm rooting for the guy. I hope so. Really, you know what I mean? I really hope that, you know, uh, the process of him, you know, record is supposed to be broken. It's good to be home, We'd man. like to see how records go. Hey, how are you going to try to get me out now? That I don't I know. Bad news and machine stuff. No, I know. Okay. But okay, cool. how would you? How would I try to get I don't know. We, did you hear this? He's already like, he wants to dance. Oh, yeah. He already, he already wants to know, how would I get him out? I don't, like, I don't know. I have, of, to, I have to feed him a couple, see what the swing looks like, you know, see, Easy guy. see what he's going to show me. You know, Easy. I'm not just going to like tell you what I'm going to do to you. I'm just going to evaluate you like a normal pitcher. And hey, you were, you were, uh, remember that home run that I hit to right center, like 420? Yeah. Um, off that cutter? Yeah. That was probably my favorite home run all year because he threw me that pitch twice. Yeah. Don't do that. He, I swung through it once. Don't do that, kids. I nicked it the second time and I was like, okay, he's coming again. And I Manny Ramirez's ass. <laughs> I took a silly swing. 
and then I took him 420 right center. So that's bait. There's some full yeah. bait. We've been talking about bait we've for been, a yeah, long and we've time. Talked about that Look, too. he's giving you a little. He's giving you a little love right in there. Yeah, a little. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I, I, when I hit it, uh, when that happened, I, I thought about you. I was like, that was some John Sintas behavior right there. <laughs> That that's right i mean i hey if you made me look stupid and you know granted I, my experience of hitting is junior college right if you made me stupid i do know that you know just like poker right like that tendency of wanting to execute that is coming back I mean, he's gonna push the button he's gonna push square again right he's gonna push square for sure you know i love that he's not keeping his hand up on the hook rock throw the hook yeah, well, you know, even what he talked about earlier, he didn't talk about one shape that was straight. So it just the fact that he walked into the building, no, I know that I just have, like, rent-free space in his brain all the time. Like, just constantly just hippoing around up in that dome right there because, like, he's so worried about it already, you know? He's so worried about it already. He should be. But also not. You know, I, I, I really, you know, I've taken some time, uh, you know, from the, to have stop throwing, but taking some time from the full effort throwing. I think I'm going to try to throw a pin here soon. Now that he's back, now I have a reason to get it going, and I'm all excited. You know, he does that, though. He'll just show up. Typical, typical pro ball player. God forbid he texts someone and let him know what the schedule is. He'll just show up, say hello. You know? That would be a pro style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I would say, uh, yes to Aaron judge. Let's do that. Let's also do some fun things. Um, you know, and really see, you know, I wouldn't be upset with the subway series, you know, don't, you know, um, but I don't know if the Mets are, I mean, the Mets just, it, it baffles me that the Mets have some of the best pitchers in the game, but yet they don't know how to bridge the gap, you know? You know, this 100-pitch thing, I know you're trying to bring DeGrom on for where he is, but he started late in the season. And, I mean, Scherzer's obviously tired. He's been carrying the way. He just went on the DL. So, I, I really don't know how they're going to be able to process that, you know, that thing, you know. And then their, their home and road, you know, lineups and, and play styles are just completely different. So, you know, they do have the advantage in, at home, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm not quite sure – how they're going to go through it. Hey, Nate, try to go to leg lift now and see if you can blend it, right? Does it feel good? It's starting to feel like something. Do you want to go back to the red? Okay, just whatever you think. I kind of like going back and forth just so you can start. So go really slow on this, like one out of ten speed. Got a lot Got a lot going on today. We got some, re hey, that's some all good. arm path remapping. We got our final, final bullpen before we head to college. Dean just showed up about to do some banging, banging. Oh, Dean, you got to – hey, Dean, what? make sure you get a profile on there, dude. You need to track it. Hey, the amount of time that took the first pitch fastball down the middle to strike one. Zero. Because either 80% sliders or 80% fastball down the middle. Yeah. Like, you know, successful. It was... <laughs> Did you hear that? He said, he, he said the amount of – Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Mom over here said uh, her son swings 75% first pitch. Right? She, mom says her son swings 75% first pitch, right? What do you think I'm going to do with that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch two at bats. I'm like, all right, well, see ya. See ya. Coach also going to say your son might be a liar. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah, definitely not. Seventy-five <laughs> percent first pitch. What, like, like, give me that thing. Yeah, but he's he's thirteen, right? Twelve. He's twelve. Right? And then not only that, he's at like PG Select and everything. So everybody's trying to blow up radar guns. You know what I mean? Like, just exactly. let's get my name on the board. I gotta throw hard. Yeah, I'm yeah dude. That's how you get noticed. That yeah. guy threw it off the barn, but he hit ninety-two. Yeah, doesn't matter. I, I'll, I'll never forget at one of the tryouts that I went to in Indie Ball. This is a good one. And I was throwing next to a guy, throwing 97. And we're at the University of Miami, and they have a wrong-facing bullpen on the visitor side. And he threw it from halfway between third base and the fence. He threw three balls consecutively over the fence. So that, that's at least 300 feet, right? And then, right, I throw, and guess what they do? They go like this. 
uh, 90 and oh, 97. I'm like, not 97. You missed by 25 feet, kid, right? He takes it to the next round yeah. of the bullpen and then proceeds to throw it over the turtle against Let's hitters. Go. He missed the turtle with hitters in there. And then all the hitters walked out. That was probably the – and then the kid still got an invite. Why? Well, he was sitting 95-97 with oh, yeah. the biggest shotgun spray we've ever seen. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> He's got, a, he's got a 12 foot diameter that he's yeah. probably going to miss. Yeah. It. Hey, good luck, kid. You know? I mean, like, that's okay. That's a good reason to, to understand shape because then you understand, like, okay, this guy's pretty much just got one shape. I don't have to worry about dick. I just need to see the straight arrow and get out of the way if it's coming on my head and yep. hit it if it's not. Totally. Yep. Straight line. Oh, um, what was I going to say? Uh, anyways, I'm going to forget it. So this postseason, one thing that I'm just trying to see from these hitters is I'm looking for some uh, some cheating, not by the, uh, the old buzzy buzz, but I'm looking for spray. I'm looking for sign stealing. Because I think that there's so much iPad sorcery that's going oh, on. Oh, I was just about to say, there's actually an article that just came out. Hey, Dean. Dean, did you hear about Mexico City in the playoffs? What? Uh, they got caught doing the Astros thing. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Doing the did. Astros thing against Yucatan. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, some of the guys had Apple Watches in their back pocket. Hey, Bingo. Yeah. yeah. Bingo. What? We'll we'll talk. I think there's some some uh, foul play that's afoot. Yeah, there is. Some, well, I'm, hey, I mean, we're, we're getting to the point where dudes are hiding their fingers and then wearing sleeves to hide the forearms, right? To push the pitch com to the Japanese guy that doesn't speak English. <laughs> Right? Or the Venezuelan, right, the Venezuelan that has no idea. Right? Good God. Well, it really. I'm going to go to the, the full on earpiece and just like, I, I look like a security bouncer on the mound. Just like earpiece, run it off the backside. Like, just tell me what you want. For years, I used to think that every time you went up to the mound, I'm like, why are they covering their mouths? Nobody's yeah. telling them anything. Right, right, right. Now well, it makes sense. Well, it you remember golf cart? All-Star game, you had Nestor Cortez and, and Trevino, like, talking. In the, like, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. I would much rather do that. Yeah. But, hey, Alex, you know, let's practice. Let's practice, okay? Hey, we're facing Dean, okay? He's a big uh, – he's not a big tall righty, but he's a six-foot righty, a lot of pop, a um, lot of pop, right? Goes both ways, very smart. What are we going with here? What pitch do you want to go break first? You know, what pitch do you want to – first pitch, break his bat. So you first want to pitch, break his bat. Third inside, in. inside, fastball inside, fastball inside. In. What do you want? Two seam in. I don't know what you would wiggle on that. So hold on, hold on. Let's back it up. Okay. How am I speaking to you if he's right here? That's what I was saying. I was saying the same thing. I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure Mike Trout can hear this whole thing going on. I'm going to just start yelling like code names of sequences of like four pitches, regardless of what happens. Yeah, that would be it. Hey, hey, run blue, run blue, right? Yeah, Red seven. Yeah. Seven, red seven. Red seven. You just hear me. Hot route. Hot <laughs> route. Exactly. Step off. She said, what are we doing? Red nine yeah. now. You would have to do something, you'd have to do something like where before he got up there, you know, maybe some fast. Look. I'm, I'm sure we could do sequences. To me, like, because if you were catching me and we had our playbook of sequences ready to run here, right, we'd have some, like, touches or some shirt stuff. You know, Oral Hershiser had a um, – a fast, slow idea that he had that I'm pretty sure uh, he explained it where it was like when he got on the rubber, it was the height of his hands when he got on the rubber was telling the catcher what he wanted, faster, slow. So he, he could get to it faster. You know what I mean? Because that's all it's about, right? Like that's what the pitch clock and all the other stuff coming yeah. on. We're trying to keep the sequence stuff going, you know? Have you, so you know that football coaches script – like the first 40, 50, 60 plays of the game. 
Yeah. Right. And then they don't care really what happens. They're just like, I'm doing this and I'm seeing what happens from there. Right. It would make sense to kind of script through maybe the first three innings, just kind of regardless, and maybe the first time through the order, just so you don't even have to flip down the sign. Like, just so you're just kind of seeing what, because if shit works, like, why try different? Just be like, let's do that again. Yeah. We wrote it down on paper. We we showed it in our uh, our three D mapping how it works. Do that. Like, yeah. can you do that? Right. That would be a lot easier. Well, that sounds like Manny, right? Like Machado's having a year of his life, and every time they cut to him in the dugout after he hit a home run, he's literally watching the iPad video from the main feed of the TV, and he's like back and forth. I've seen him multiple times showing the rookies, showing all this stuff. It's like, yeah, this dude's just like, that's full on cheating. You know, he gets it. Yeah, he literally gets to watch every pitch before he gets up there. He gets to watch it again. Yeah. Like it was obvious Dustin May could not locate inside the other day. Right. And he hit one like 112 at like six degrees through the six hole. And it was the same pitch in the same situation, the same lo- just a location might have been like a ball down. He hit it like 460 or something like that, the previous series. Right. And they showed it on ESPN where the pitch before was a ball higher and it left the yard and the next pitch in the almost the same count, right? It was like a, um, I'm pretty sure it was a one uh, Oh count that he went back to it. 90, 99 sinker middle down, not surprised by a big leader. That's the stuff that keeps me up at night. It keeps me scared, right? Like, Oh, you, you, you were ready. You knew, but I mean, Dustin may run in a very, basic fast slow system right his yeah his breaking ball can't land it i'm sure that's why he spit on it the whole time the cutter is is can't land that the only thing you could land is the fastball change up and don't do that to manny don't give me uh-huh. the options well the the advantage of technology to just go back and see like he, he it's almost like um it's almost like an experiment every time where it was like, you can see again what happened in the experiment in the actual moment of when the synthesis of the chemicals started. Cause that's how fast, like, like, I don't know how far you went into chemistry. I didn't go that far. But there were some reactions that you had where, I mean, right when liquid touched liquid, it turned into something else. Yeah. Right. That's what's happening in those reactions. Like, I don't know if you saw what I posted on my Instagram the other day, but it's like the speed of that Leon Edwards head kick to Kamaru Usman was the same amount of time as Dallas Keuchel getting getting taken yard by Chris Taylor in the World Series a few years ago, right? From fingertip to the to the barrel, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's, that's such a small – if you do that on your iPhone right now, if you go to the stopwatch, like you're pressing it down, lifting your thumb up, pressing it down there's no and it's fast too yeah 0.3 it's very quick like 0.38 0.4 yeah. is 88 miles an hour 0.39 is 90 and then it just keeps going down from there right so that's a that's a reaction time that that's so hard again to describe to somebody because okay. it's such a oh, small perfect. moment let me finish this up anyway. yeah yeah getting her a tiny moment yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a, a process, I think, that with, with the whole game and how things go, you know, I feel like, yeah, I'm with you. I want to see I want to see how these mistakes are going to hit and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the Braves are getting hot again. They're doing what they're going to do, right? I mean, I really wonder how things, you know, do the Braves repeat? I mean, if they get hot and they got the guys that they do, how do you make it better so that – I mean, they lost some of their left-handed guys that they're going to the pen, but like, maybe, I mean, they didn't they didn't believe in that those guys anyway, which is kind of weird to me because like they literally ran through everybody with three. Yeah, left-handed. they but, had a but, postseason of a lifetime. What did they lose? Like three games the whole postseason, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, but there's like yes, everybody executed right, but when yeah. everybody executes like that, it's a different thing. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Shoulders, shoulders got to go farther. You're just not turning well, the shoulders. That is the thing. You know, there's ideas of confidence where it's like, you know what? We just saw what we had. We're nice. going to double down on this nice. and take a different approach. But it's it's like the idea of, like, what we talk about with colleges. Sometimes they feel like they know the recipe. They're just like, we just got to sign the right guys. It'll yeah. work out. True. Okay. True. Yeah.
<laughs> hey, bud. It was a good podcast. It sounds like it's getting louder and louder over there. Well, we're getting more people here. You know what I mean? That's well, great. People show up early, want to get better. It is what it is, right? How can how can you be upset about that? Hey, I'm gonna send you that flowchart thing. I just want you to check it out. I think you'd yeah, really like. Oh, you know what? I think there's a way in here that you can drop it in. Um, maybe you could only do it if you solo host it. Yeah, there's. Yeah, it's not. It, it's only if you solo host it. You can actually like, put it like a background green screen or something in there. So. Copy that. Oh, good. All right, my friend. Well, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, guys, if you're not following my man, Alex, right go ahead, check us out. Let's run a ball game podcast. This is our little fun thing. We we will, I think we're back. We'll get our groove back. We don't have puppy stuff to birth anymore. There's yeah, no for more. Sure. For sure. Maybe we could try Friday this week. Maybe two in the same week. I don't know. We'll figure That'd it out. Pretty cool if we could do that. Definitely. All right, buddy. Thank you. Guys, All right. uh, check out the new hats. Check out the new gloves. We're having a blast with it. You know, snag it on the website. Cutter Nation leather. Sick. Yeah, it's pretty. I think she's a beauty. I, I'm pretty happy about it. What size is that one? You're, you got it's 11, there. 7, 5, but it feels enormous. Okay. But it's also supposed to be two in the pink, right? Closed back, pitcher's glove. This is might be my new favorite web right here. I definitely see what's going on with it. So. Sick. Pitcher's gloves. I like it. All right, brother. Thank you again. Talk to you soon. Later, guy.